Today we are in Porth Leven, Cornwall. The most southerly port in Great Britain. We'll be looking around the town, then walking along a section of the southwest coast path. Porth Leven, iconic Cornish fishing harbour. Porth Leven, a uh, good example of soil erosion. There used to be a staircase presumably down to the beach, which is no longer. So uh, you have to come down the long way. Okay, we should really be checking rock pools, uh, seeing what's in them. But we have to get to that next headland before the tide comes in, which is going to be possible as long as I don't stand around making videos. So, talk to you later. I know, high tides come in. You've got one more headland to do. Come on, hurry up. Rick's here. And you must be because all this water coming out must generate a channel out of it. Oh, it can do, yeah. So we're going over the top. We're going round it, yeah. Right. Having gone up, we need to come down. Two options are demonstrated here. We have speed versus stability. Look at the camera. Victory. Beaten the tide, pose for photos, naturally. Serious warning about the riptide. At the top, we have to decide the route. Plenty of options. But strangely, no information on which way to the nearest pub. change with a different yeah. gate. So I thought, well, it doesn't matter. Very slippery. Yeah. Give yeah. it a go. It's so slippery. Oh, all the sea air, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, so impressive. Slippery. Yeah. <laughs> you make it. Yeah. It is very slippery. Porth Leven is even more beautiful from above. The harbour defence is impressively practical and our group of hikers happy to be back in the town. Some parts are strange. Most just quaint. Seaview garden with your own seagull. Each house differs. Square, round, catchy. So, Origins, original coffee house, which has moved on a little bit. Close for Christmas. Well, close for spring, actually.
So, let's follow the brook and see if it leads to a coffee shop or a tea room. Refreshment required. Ask me, ask me.